In July 2013, an immense heavy lift launch vehicle in Kazakhstan was ready to carry three sophisticated Soviet navigation satellites to outer space. Many people had gathered on the facility's outskirts to observe the launch, and the weather conditions were favorable. But footage from the event shows how mere seconds after the Proton M spacecraft took off, it lost control and went into a wayward spiral. The rocket then crashed into the ground, followed by a terrifying explosion. An investigation into the costly incident was immediately put into motion. The surprising findings proved that the accident could have been easily avoidable. The Proton M. Proton M is a Russian heavy lift launch spacecraft whose origins are traced back to the Soviet Union's Proton rocket launched in 1965 during the Cold War. Built by the Krinichev State Research and Production Space Center, the Proton M has a launch capacity of 22.8 tons to low Earth orbit and a geostationary transfer capacity of 6.3 tons. As far back as the 1960s, Proton rockets have been used for military, space, and commercial purposes. Originally conceived as an intercontinental ballistic missile, it eventually evolved into a launch vehicle. On the morning of July 2, 2013, a Proton M rocket was ready to launch at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. One of the observers captured the scene with his camera and witnessed how the engines ignited with a powerful noise. Surrounded by clouds of smoke and fire, the rocket took off with a visible vertical trajectory. The video shows how the Proton M suddenly appeared to fight against its own motions. The rocket then goes completely horizontal before engaging in a steep dive and exploding mid-air. The Proton M rocket that crashed 17 seconds after launching was carrying three Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GLONASS satellites, into outer space. The three satellites were completely destroyed during the incident. According to the media, the monetary loss was valued at more than $200 million. The last registered Proton rocket crash near its launch site happened on April 2, 1969, when a first-generation Proton crashed while carrying a Mars launch probe. A Quarantine Site Immediately after the crash, a cloud of poisonous orange gases spread towards the city of Baikonur, located 50 miles from the Cosmodrome. The Proton M's 700-ton weight is mainly made up of fuel and is highly toxic. The rocket relies on a combination of heptyl fuel and nitrogen tetroxide to generate the required energy to propel the proton to the skies. According to a study on the environmental health impact by the rocket fuel 1,1-dimethylhydrazine and its transformation products, published in 2008 by Environment Health Insights, heptyl is carcinogenic, mutagenic, convulsant, teratogenic, and embryotoxic. Heptyl is also absorbed by soil and remains in it longer than other toxic materials. This has harmful effects on agriculture and the animals that consume feed from it. As the reddish cloud spread through the Proton rocket's launch pad, the facility was hardly evacuated. Local police helped by warning Baikonur's 70,000 residents to remain indoors and avoid using air conditioners. Authorities were considering a full-scale evacuation, but unexpected rainfall at the end of the day helped dissipate the poisonous gases. Hours later, personnel from the Cosmodrome Site-3 returned to work. According to author Anatoly Zak from Russian Space Web, the crash left a 40 by 25 meter crater with a depth of approximately 5 meters. Crash Aftermath The environmental experts concluded that 5 hectares of grassland were affected by the fire. Still, air and soil samples showed no significant contamination levels. In his report, Anatoly Zak wrote that Russian Chief Medical Safety Specialist Zhonderbek Bekshin talked to the media and said that, quote, Thanks to an absence of wind at the time of the crash, toxic gases did not spread very far. Moreover, most of the toxic propellant burned during the explosion, and rain helped to neutralize remaining chemicals. Police and experts stayed at the site until mid-July. Baikonur engineers examined the Proton's rocket telemetry to find the reasons behind the accident. The first conclusions from the Russian Space Agency pointed towards a propulsion system failure. Days later, investigators looking through the wreckage found that the critical angular velocity sensors, or DUS, were installed upside down. 
These modules are designed to support the rocket's flight control system that keeps it upright during launch. As the sensors were not installed correctly, the Proton flipped and went into a steep dive. On July 18th, the Roscosmos Agency confirmed that the launch's failure was related to DUS velocity sensors being rotated 180 degrees from the correct position. The agency also specified that it was a human error. Little arrows on the rocket indicated the correct positioning, but a technician failed to install them correctly. It was a mistake that cost hundreds of millions of dollars.